Hey guys, so a couple months ago during October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I noticed all of the wonderful initiatives and community support and positive outreach that was happening for that movement. And I thought to myself, that's pretty cool. I wonder when Cancer Mental Health Awareness Month is. And then I looked it up and there wasn't one. So I turned to the internet and I said, hey guys, should we make this a reality? And the internet was like, yeah, we should do that. And so I looked up when all the other awareness months were for cancer, and it turns out there's like 28 of them for specific diseases, but none of them were in December. So I was like, guys, is December good for the internet and cancer patients? And everyone said, yes, let's do that by December. And so then I said, no worries, internet community of cancer patients. I got this. I'm going to create a month. Except I have no idea how you create a month, or at least I didn't when I said that, and I figured I would be able to do it in five or six weeks, but it turns out that's not exactly the case, but it's also not exactly not the case, because we're in December, and it is Cancer Mental Health Awareness Month. Here are some of the things that I did between October and December to try and get this up and running. I registered the Awareness Month with national calendar boards. I registered it with global calendar boards. I registered it with cancer awareness organizations. I created a website. I pushed along the creation of a nonprofit that I had already been working on but really needed to get going by December. And I tried to make a Wikipedia page, but they were like, we don't know what this is. You can't self-promote. And I was like, that's okay, Wikipedia. I get it. Also, for about three weeks in November, I had a pretty significant cancer scare, which ironically messed up my mental health and sapped my ability to be productive. And I had a lot of stuff in motion, so I figured by the time December 1st rolled around, they'd get back to me, I'd be ready to go, and this would be smooth sailing into Cancer Mental Health Awareness Month. None of the calendar boards got back to me. None of the cancer awareness boards got back to me. The U.S. Trademark Office has not gotten back to me. I did get my EIN and my paperwork approved for this nonprofit, and I did set up a website, and I'll have that out to you guys soon, but I was hoping for, you know, some more cohesive initiatives to start, but that's not the case. We got to December, and it was go time, and I decided I'm not waiting for 2024, so we're doing it live. And in the position I sit right now, I just have to start talking about it. Or really, we just have to start talking about it because there's no glory in creating a Cancer Mental Health Awareness Month. This is for the community of cancer patients and their loved ones, and I think that everyone stands to benefit from it, but we just have to start getting the word out. So for the past few days, which is the first few days of December, I've been posting threads and short form content, including YouTube shorts on this channel, about the ethos of Cancer Mental Health Awareness Month, and I created a hashtag because if you want anything to go viral, even microviral, you're going to need that, and it is free December. And let me explain what that means, along with the greater ethos of why I chose December outside of its availability for a month to focus on cancer patient mental health awareness. So why December and why free December? We'll start with the hashtag because I think that's the quickest one to get out of the way. Uh, talking is free. And I know that sounds ridiculous and simple, but I've always been a huge proponent of just talking about your mental health issues, whether it's in therapy with a licensed professional or to your friends and family, so long as you don't turn them into your therapist, or even just, you know, talking to yourself via journaling or, you know, talking to yourself out loud. I know that's the thing that I do. You don't have to be ashamed if you do that. But really, talk is free. And at the same time, talking about these issues is freeing. I know that every time I get something off of my chest, whether it's talking to my good buddies about this or talking to a therapist or journaling, I feel much more mentally free going forward because ultimately that's the goal with any exercise that's supposed to help you with your mental health. Cancer and its associated mental health issues can make you feel trapped and when you speak about them, you are free. Also, I understand that there are no one-size-fits-all solution to anything. I mean, some of the things I just brought up, including therapy, are not free. Sometimes just speaking with your friends and family or out loud to yourself does not make you feel free. And December can be a really troubling month for cancer patients, chronic illness patients, and people who have mental health issues. And then if you combine all those into one, uh, the holiday season can be really, really tough. Surrounding any individual cancer diagnosis and associated mental health issue, there is also going to be unique familial situations, financial situations, social situations, and the holidays are already stressful enough if you don't have cancer or mental health issues, so it becomes a really tough time for certain people. For some people, it could be that this once warm and fuzzy time, the most wonderful time of the year, is now marred by sickness and stress and financial insecurity and family that doesn't understand what they're going through. Or for others, they could already have had you know, friends and family that were difficult to deal with and aren't respecting their boundaries well enough as they deal with a difficult time during diagnosis and treatment, and it becomes something that you dread having to go to. For me, my birthday is in December. I remember the first time I came back to my family after being diagnosed when I was 30, it was Thanksgiving, and I hid in my room for a lot of the time because I didn't want to talk to people about it. And then a month later, when I went home for my birthday, I just remembered thinking, 
oh my God, is this what it's going to be like every time I'm going to be sitting here a shell of myself as I can't deal with my own mental illness during my cancer diagnosis? And luckily things have gotten a little better, but man, I really, really understand how people can get freaked out by being around their family during holiday time. Side note, not to brag or rub it in, but only because some of them watch this, my family is great. In fact, that year, my parents gave me this shirt and I treasure it and it makes me think of that time. But like, I really get it. You feel like a different person, which is not the person that your family has known this whole time. It can be really, really stressful. So the explanation of free Sember and why December is all well and good. And in fact, it might be the most important part because talking about it, the free portion of free December is the most important thing that we can do. The more that you and I talk about our experiences as cancer patients or the loved ones of cancer patients, and the more we use the hashtag free December and the more we post about it, the better this is going to be. But that can only take a movement so far. So what's next for Cancer Mental Health Awareness Month? Well, I'm going to keep bugging these organizations and awareness boards, and I'm going to get this website finalized, and I'm going to put initiatives up on it, and I'm going to ask you for your help then. But right now, I'm just going to keep asking you for your help in spreading the word. You watching this video is already doing me a great help, and you talking about your own mental health issues as they surround a cancer diagnosis or a loved one's cancer diagnosis is the best thing we can do right now. And like I said before, it's not my movement, it's our movement, it's the cancer community's movement, and I'm just hoping to give it a little nudge forward and get this started this month while on the fly. So, if you're watching this and you have an experience to share on a platform, please do, use the hashtag FreeSember, or just like this video and share this video. That way, you know, it gets out to more people, the messaging gets to more people who might feel like sharing, and we can push this thing forward. I'm going to have a lot more videos explaining initiatives about this and how we can really, really get this movement going, but until then, this is all I got. So thank you one more time for spending your valuable time on this video, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye.